Well, Monet is uh, um, one of the um, artists uh, during this time that traveled most extensively, and it's quite interesting to look at the uh, places that he visited, the places that he chose. Uh, the south of France is, I think, a particularly interesting, uh, as this is a place uh, visually that was unlike anyone, any, any place that he had experienced. Um, his first journey to the south of France, and in fact, to the Italian Riviera, happened in December 1883. Uh, he was suddenly exhausted from a big uh, um, uh, commission he received from Duraruel that he completed in the fall of 1883. And so he took a trip uh, with Renoir. It was really um, just a um, sort of a touristic trip, a way to, to explore the era, uh, area, uh, clearly to find new motif. Uh, this was something that recurs throughout his life, this, this eagerness to, to find new motif, to find new uh, imagery for his paintings. And he was quite taken. They went to uh, Bordighera uh, on the Italian Riviera and then uh, stopped in the south of France. Uh, and in fact, about the Italian Riviera later on, he wrote about Bordighera, he wrote that it was one of the most beautiful places he visited uh, when he was there. So um, it makes sense that actually when he came back to France uh, in January of 1884, he departs right away to go back to, to Bordighera and to the south. Uh, this time, uh, quite, uh, quite interestingly, writes to his dealer, Duran Ruel, and make a point of saying, don't tell anybody though, because <laughs> he wanted to work alone. Um, he specifically said, don't tell Renoir, because he went with him and he probably would have liked to go back with Monet, but Monet worked at best when he was alone, when he could immerse himself in nature. Um, and so he returns right away in January 1884 and it was supposed to be uh, again a short trip and it turned out to be uh, like a three months uh, stay. Uh, and he really explored the area. Um, and as I said, it was something that, uh, that particularly was uh, um, um, interesting for him. It was this different light they called enchanting. Uh, he described the, the place in French as Féric, magical. Um, so this really for somebody so used to the Normandy coast, to the, the grayer tones um, of that area, uh, exploring the sun and the vegetation that's so unique of that, uh, of, of that place must have been quite an impression. Sometimes, if I think of think of Monet as a uh, uh, as a you know as a traveling artist, uh, you tend to imagine how what the kind of traveler would he have been. Uh, I think, based on his letters, I imagine him a little cranky. Uh, he was very used to his habits. He was very um, sort of attached to his uh, to his routine. Um, and if I think of the first trip he took to the south in 1884, uh, only the year before he began renting in 1884, Three, his house in Giverny. That's the house eventually he will buy in 1890. So I'm sure he was eager to, to, to plant the garden, to explore uh, his home, to sort of uh, uh, establish his life uh, in, his, in his new house uh, that he had uh, rented. Uh, and he was a family man, so he liked to be next to his families. So I expect that he was a little punctilious uh, as far as uh, uh, sort of leaving the, the routine of his home. At the same time, though, uh, no artist uh, uh, of his circle, no other impression, he traveled so much and he, uh, he never was faced by harsh weather, by um, uh, painting in the snow, by uh, painting in the heat of, of the south. So uh, he had this very adventurous, I think, spirit. So there is this great mix of, of somebody uh, attached to a routine, he famously ate at the same time every day, uh, but also uh, this young spirit, this, this desire and wish to, to explore new motif, to explore new imagery. Uh, and new places. So I think, uh, um, I think it, it, it would have been a um, sort of probably not the most uh, uh, patient companion, um, but uh, uh, in fact the first time he arrived in Bordighera he changed the pensione uh, pretty quickly because he just uh, didn't like the, the people that attended there and he found another place. So it, it could be a little, uh, uh, a little impatient, um, but uh, I think what's uh, refreshing and really inspiring is, is continuous uh, attempt to, to explore nature, no matter the conditions. Um, so it, it, made it, it made him, I think, very adventurous and, and willing to try new things.